probably the most unsexy problem with running visual effects workloads in the cloud is storage. There aren't really many solutions out there that tick all the boxes. I wanna share with you some of my research in running visual effects workloads on Amazon and some of the solutions that I've seen out there. I'd love to hear more below if you've got some of your own solutions that are worth looking at. So the first solution on Amazon is called EFS and EFS looks very attractive when you're not using it. It looks like it's highly scalable, it's highly available to your data workloads in any region, let's say Sydney, and you've got your availability zones. In Sydney, we've got three, and EFS is available to all of those availability zones. That's pretty cool. EFS is super scalable. You're paying per gigabyte second and you're paying for it as you use it. You don't hit some limit, at least not a reasonable one for a visual effects workload. But when I tested it, it is super expensive if you want to run that workload at high speed. I couldn't seem to make the solution run for me in a way that was competitive with a traditional on-site NAS. I had to throw it away. Perhaps I just wasn't using it the right way. If you've had a success story, I'd like to know about it. So I wanted to look then at something like a virtual NAS solution. And two products that I was playing with uh, were Gluster, which I hadn't read enough success stories for it to warrant my attention yet. And if you've got a success story with that, I'd love to know. It's probably something I'm gonna do some research into at some stage. Uh, but Gluster looks like if you can't control all the hardware that it's connected to, which on Amazon you do not, uh, unless you're paying a lot of money, it looked like I just couldn't consider that solution at this point in time. So the last solution that I looked at and what I'm currently using is one called SoftNAS. And full disclaimer, I am not paid anything by anyone to produce this video. I'm just sharing the solutions that I'm currently using. So with SoftNAS, it turns a virtual instance into something that looks like a normal NAS that you would have on site. You will mount virtual drives to it. In Amazon, they're called EBS volumes. And you say what type of RAID array it is, uh, it becomes available as an NFS volume that you can make available to anything that is in the virtual private network uh, in your region. It's easier if it's in the same availability zone. I am also able to access that data through a virtual private network and that's fine. So it looks like for SoftNAS, I would pay somewhere around 10 cents per terabyte per hour that I'm using that software on the instance. And I'm only paying for it when it's actually running. So that's also very attractive. When your workloads are all closed down for the day, you can actually turn off that NAS and you will only need to turn it on again when you're actually running workloads on it. So you save on your software licensing there. SoftNAS is attractive because I'm paying very close to the most affordable form of storage in a volume that's available. It looked like I should expect for workloads that I'd like to run um, based on history, it's possible for very, very heavy effect shots to run in the 20 to 30 terabyte realm. And if I had to do that, I'd be looking at costs between $400 and $800 per month. SoftNAS solves a lot of problems when it comes to control because it's basically a NAS. It solves a lot of problems with performance I've seen um, data performance that's very good. I was running workloads in RAID 0, just tests with six volumes that were hitting 700 to 800 megabytes a second, and I'm sure it could go a lot faster than that. SoftNAS is able to scale up very well. I'm able to add EBS volumes to a virtual RAID array, and I can have up to 20 of those volumes. Those volumes can be 16 terabytes in size each. So that's 320 terabytes of virtual storage that can be mounted to a RAID array, uh, which is a lot. However, SoftNAS doesn't seem to scale down very well. So you know, when you're going through your workload and you decide you need to save some money by getting your storage a little smaller, it looks like you would have to create another volume and move that data over. So there is room to be able to solve that problem in an efficient way. And SoftNAS does offer scripting, so it is possible to, to potentially create volumes on the fly that are solving that problem for you. I would like to find something out there that is as price competitive as SoftNAS, that can both scale up and down, is highly available, and has the performance. In a nutshell, SoftNAS seems to solve most of the problems apart from being able to scale down. 
and scaling down isn't a traditional problem if you run all your hardware on site. You don't normally have to sell drives off because you're not using all your storage. It's just that now that we're thinking about how we run workloads in the cloud and how do we be most efficient when we're running idle, then you wanna be able to save your costs there. It is gonna be exciting when we see something that does tick all those boxes. Something that can be as price competitive as SoftNAS, is as performant, can scale both up and down. If you can find something out there that does all of those things, then it's gonna be really enabling for the visual effects industry or any industry that is running continuously changing workloads that have different needs on how much storage is available for that workload.